All right, how are we all doing today? Yay! All right. Great to see you all out here. Great to see the hats. Great to see it. The Amish community out here. My name is Chris Hume with the Lancaster Patriot. Uh, this has been a long time coming to let the state know that we don't need them to tell us what we can eat. Am I right? Yes. The state wants to control everything about your life. They want to tell you what you can eat, what you can drink, right? It does not end with Amos Miller. They're coming after each and every one of us. They want complete control. Amos Miller is the tip of the spear here when it comes to freedom. If we don't have the freedom to decide what we eat, what we feed our families with, what freedom do we have? That's, that's what this is about. So I was there on Amos's farm when the state came in. They've been building a case against Amos for years. This is what your taxpayer money goes to. Russell Redding sits up there in Harrisburg with all his minions thinking about how they can destroy Amos Miller and his family. They've been after him for years, and when they sense an opportunity, they're going after him 100%. Obviously, the civil lawsuit is insanity. Where's the injured party? Right. Who's the one? Right. Who's the one bringing the charge? Is there a customer bringing a complaint against no. Amos Miller? No. no, not one. It's the state claiming you've wronged us and you have to pay us. This, my friend, this is tyranny. Yep. Tyranny 101 and statism. What we have here is the government punishing the righteous. Amos Miller is serving his neighbor. How many of you have purchased something from Amos Miller? Do you need the state to look over your shoulder when you make that decision? No. Does the state know what's best for your health? No. If we didn't think that before 2020, we better think that now. So, listen, Amos Miller represents the tip of the spear when it comes to food freedom. The state wants to shut him down. They want to punish him for serving neighbor. Amos Miller is providing a service to his neighbors. He is providing them with food, with milk. There are people from across this nation, from California, who can't get the products that Amos Miller provides. He is loving his neighbor, doing what God has called him to do. And the state, the state has a very limited role. Their job is to punish evil. Has Amos Miller committed an evil act? No. No, he has not. And yet these people inside this building, and these statists in Harrisburg, and the state troopers that support this tyranny, they think their job is to be a babysitter and be a nanny and punish people for righteous actions. That cheese right there, raw milk, you know in Pennsylvania, it's illegal to sell raw butter for human consumption. That's what your, our overlords in the state think, we need to control you and tell you what you can and can't eat. So this, this case with Amos Miller, you know, the, the, the representatives, representatives of Pennsylvania, the senators, they say, oh, Amos Miller, he just needs to follow the rules like everyone else. He just needs to do, everybody else is following the rules. But let me tell you something. There is, there is no one who follows all the laws that are spewing forth from Harrisburg because we have a tyrannical system of government. We have statism where man just makes law after law after law. There is one law that is above all law, and that is God's law. God's law! What Amos, what Amos Miller has done has not violated God's law. He has not wronged his neighbor. Now, now, the first thing we need to do is what we're doing here. We need to be out here. We need, we need to challenge, we need to challenge the state troopers, the employees of Harrisburg, of the Department of Agriculture, to nullify and defy these decrees of tyrants who are telling them to go on to Amish men's farms and raise their farm and seek to put them out of business. That's, that is where this starts. It starts with the people who are following these orders to, to raid a farm and, and detain his products. Did you guys see the stickers on, this, on walnuts, on popcorn, the state telling Amos that he cannot sell this food to hungry Americans? While well, we have food shortages across mm -hmm. the nation, the state of Pennsylvania is shutting down Amos Miller. That's what's going on right here. This is, this is tyranny on full display. So Amos Miller, it's just the beginning. 
There are many farmers, Amos is not the only one, who are serving neighbor outside of the regulations of Harrisburg, okay? So, if we have an unjust law, if we have a wicked decree from Harrisburg, it is our responsibility to defy it. It's our responsibility to defy it. Let's see what this guy wants to say. <laughs> what do you want to say, sir? What's your point? Okay, it's not going to be one person. It's going to be multiple people. Well, let me answer your question. So the way this, the, the, why we have this problem is because we have embraced this idea of man-made law. We give these representatives authority to create law. Hang on a minute, sir. And then you know what happens? Everyday, ordinary people go get a job with the state and they enforce the decrees of people like Russell Redding. If we get a, a change of mind, hang on a second, hang on a second. If we get a change of mind in the American mindset, where these state troopers and these agents of the department, Sheriff Lepler, Sheriff Lepler, that's right. Sheriff Lepler, these are agents, these employees of the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture. If they would have the courage to defy these orders, this would end. This would end. Yeah. All right. You know, tyrants have no power. Tyrants have no power unless. Hang on a minute, sir. Let me. I give you a chance to speak. Yeah. Well, you went there. I was there. I told the God they don't listen. You know why? So that's all right. You know, we got some. We got some emotion here. This is an emotional thing, right? This is an emotional thing. Here's the thing. These the ordinary people are the ones who propagate tyranny. Pol Pot, Stalin, Hitler, they didn't kill millions of people. You know who killed millions of people? The people who are following their orders. And that's what's happening here. You know, you know, who, you know who's responsible for this raid against Amos? It's the state troopers, it's the employees of the Department of Agriculture. They were just doing their job, and uh, you don't wake up today. My boss is telling me to raid this man's farm and put him out of business. That's the problem. And so, Yes, you know, it can be discouraging. We should have a hundred times this amount here because this is an attack on freedom. This is an attack on our fundamental freedoms. And so, yeah, we, we, we hope that Robert Barnes can do something in there. But you know what? It's bigger than that. It's bigger than this court case. It needs to go beyond that. We need to change the American mindset when it comes to tyranny and statism. And we need to push English, Amish, everyone to say, you know what? If we have an unjust decree, didn't we learn this in 2020? If we have an unjust, evil decree, it is our duty to defy it. Resistance to tyrants is obedience to God. And that's what we need here. So it does not end today. It starts today for many of us. We need to rise up. We need to challenge other people. We need to change the minds of America to say, you know what? We do not need the state to be our nanny. We don't need the state to look over our shoulder. We don't need the state to tell us what we can and can't eat. We don't need the state to tell us what we can teach our children. Right? The government's role is very limited, to punish evil. That's what the Word of God says. And this is tyranny, my friends. It is the punishment of the righteous. So, so, so this, it starts today and it needs to grow bigger than this group. We need to challenge, you know what, and the politicians, the representatives, Dave Zimmerman, and all these guys that claim to be about freedom, you know what they'll respond, the only thing they're going to respond to is this, in public pressure, and this time the 100, that's all they care about, right, they don't care about freedom, they care about their votes and the, the opinion of the public, and you have, a, a, you have immense power, we have immense power to pressure these people, to pressure those above them, but it starts at the lowest level, and it starts with us. If we aren't willing, if we aren't willing to defy this order and drink the raw milk, if we aren't willing to defy it, we can't challenge the state troopers and the agents to say, you know what, you guys need to have a moral compass to say no when the state tells you to do evil. It's not going to fly on Judgment Day when you stand before God and say, well, you know what, I was just following orders. The guy ran that Elmish man out of his business. I destroyed him and his family. But I was just following the orders of Secretary Russell Redding. That's right. I'm going to tell you someone who's higher than Russell Redding, and that's the Lord Jesus Christ, who is in God, and His law is supreme. So do not be discouraged right now. The tyrants have the upper hand. God will break the teeth of the wicked. 
give him time, be faithful, peacefully resist this. Civil disobedience is very important to defy wicked orders. We did it in 2020, do it again. When they want to tell you you can't eat that, I'm going to eat this. Because it's my responsibility to feed myself and my family. And the state is not going to be held accountable for providing for my family. I am. So if I want to buy raw milk for my family, I'm going to do that. And we need to stand against, yes. stand against tyranny. Thank you. Um, ask Pastor Joel Saint to come up and pray with us, please. Excuse me. You can be forgiven in a gathering like this to pray with your eyes quite open. <laughs> it can be done. One thing we have to say is, as Chris just said, the law word of God is about every single person. The law word of God is contained in his book, the Bible. And some people will say that that's too complicated. Well, I'll tell you what, the Federal Register with 100,000 pages, that's pretty freaking complicated. <laughs> the law word of God is only 66 books and he's told us how to live. He's told us how to govern ourselves. He's told us what the limitations of the state are and what they are not. And unless we return to the law word of God, nothing else is going to work for us, shall we pray? Oh Lord God, you, you who rule the heavens, you who created man from the very beginning, you who sent your son, the Lord Jesus Christ, to die for our sins when we committed crimes against him and against our neighbor, you are the one who told us to love the Lord our God with our heart, soul, mind, and our neighbor as ourselves. And we stand this day for, with our, our neighbor, Amos Miller, who's committed the so-called crime of trying to serve his neighbor. Oh, Lord, God have mercy on us. How we turned our back when you were so ashamed of ourselves. You bless this country. We sing America, America, God shed his grace on me. And look how we're turning our back on you. And look what we've done to our neighbors. Whether it's the abortion clinic or wherever it is. We have turned our back on you. We are ashamed this day. Oh, Lord, God, may you have mercy on us. And may you turn us back to you for nothing less than that will rescue us in our horrible crimes against you, O oh Lord. Lord, may you, may you this day, turn us back to you and protect Amos Miller, protect all who love you. And O oh Lord, we ask that you would destroy the workers of iniquity, break their teeth in their mouths. May they indeed be ashamed and may they fall into the pits that they have dug for the neighbors. Amen. It's in the name of Christ we ask it. Amen. 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 Stop us, David Miller!